Hey guys, and welcome back. And if you're new here, my name is Eric, and I'm currently on a fishing adventure. First things first, we currently hit a thousand subscribers, and I am so happy. I can't thank you guys enough. So, to every one of you that have subscribed to my channel, from me to you, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so stoked. It's been a quite the journey. There's been ups and downs, and I don't know where it's going to go from here, but what I do know is I'm going to continue to be fishing because if I ain't fishing, I ain't living. You know I got to get it. Now with that out of the way, I am currently down in my backyard going to the river and we're going to be chasing some catfish. It is late in the afternoon. It's about 90 degrees and it's supposed to heat up to, I think, 100. So it's going to be a scorcher. I literally pulled up to the first spot with a tree because I knew I was gonna need some shade. That is gonna be huge. Because if you know me and you follow my channel, you know I hate the bait and weight game. I always gotta be casting. So I'm gonna be in the sun a lot and I'm gonna need some shade to help cool me down. We got all day. We got all day to fish and let's be honest, I'm not a huge cat fisherman, but today we're gonna give it a shot, see what's happening with the river and these catfish. So let's see what we can hook into. Okay, the first bait I'm gonna try is just one whole night crawler. Not gonna be stingy. Just gonna toss it all out there. And see if a kitty wants to pick it up. I'm just gonna thread it on here. Best I can. In Idaho, you can have two rods. If you buy the two pull permit, which I do have. So for the next rod, I'm gonna set out some cut bait. Guys, I don't know what the heck is going on. I went to check this pool. And it was, I couldn't get it in, it was feeling weird, and I actually have a fish on. Oh, I just lost him. I think that was a, I think that was a bass. Yeah, I, I went to go check the pole, and it was reeling in kind of funny. There was some kind of resistance on it, but I thought there was weeds and stuff down there on the bottom of the river. But then it started pulling back against me, and I was like, holy crap. I got a fish on. When I first sat it down and I put the bell on there, I went to go set up my other rig and I heard the bell chime, but I thought it was just the wind. So who knows how long that fish has been on there. It's probably been on there as soon as I threw it out there. So I'm gonna rig up again and cast out there, see what happens. Guys, I don't know what the heck's going on here. I went to go check my bell again and I just actually dropped it in the water. And then this pool, this line started tightening up. So I know there's a fish on, but the bell never went off. We have a fish, guys. Woo! That's fish number two. And he's been sitting on there for who knows how long either. He was just kind of sitting there with it. Wasn't pulling it. The bell wasn't dinging. So I had no idea I had a fish until I checked my pool. What is this? It looks like a little bass again. I think it's a little smallmouth. I wonder why he's just a little dinky little tiny guy eating that worm there we go little small mouth with his red eyes eating that worm let's see can we get the hook out probably first landed fish of the day a little small mouth beautiful We weren't smallmouth fishing, but hey, we'll take a fish. Let's let it go. Thank you for the action while we wait for a kitty. You are free to go. There he goes. This pool just hit the ground. 
we have a fish on guys I'll let him take it there we go oh that's a good one that one feels a lot bigger than the other two what could it be oh a bigger bass a bigger smallie there's a bunch of smallies out there guys we might have to change tactics and go smallmouth fishing I want a catfish though man I came for catfish oh look at that jump <laughs> we got a jumper get in here mr. fish there he is stay down if I can flip him in here oh it's a nice bass fortunately he really ate that worm so hmm what are we gonna do look at that that's a decent small mouth right there and it's dark all right guys it's been a while with no bites so what I'm gonna do is change tactics and I'm gonna try some liver I don't know how well that's gonna stay on there but I'll give that a shot Okay, so it's 15 till five and um, not very many bites. It's not going according to plan. So maybe picking the first tree for shade isn't the best catfish tactic, but we're not giving up. A few things that I learned. Uh, catfishing still not my favorite thing to do. Bait and weight just killing me, but we're gonna keep at it. We're not giving up. We're gonna go up river and we're gonna continue the search for these catfish. I really didn't want to keep that bass, but it was really gut hooked. And that actually might have been the best thing that I did all day because I'm getting hungry and we might just have to cook him up. All right, folks, made it to the second spot. We just need one catfish. Come on, We're still continuing. One catfish and I'll be happy. But we got a few hours of daylight left. Let's see if I can withstand all this heat and let's see what happens. Right now, this spot right here, I know it's one of my friend's favorite spots. Um, and I know there's a flat out here with some weeds, so hopefully we won't get snagged up too much. And hopefully we can get a catfish. I'm going to get baited up, cast out, and just wait it out. So, night crawlers is the only thing that I've had success today, so I'm just going to continue on that. So the first rig is going to be a night crawler. Let's do it. One thing I'm noticing right away is there's less wind, which is a plus, but more bugs, which is a minus. And I ain't got no shade. On this one, we're gonna put some cut bait. Moving down the bank a little bit, away from the bushes and the bugs to a more clear area, but there's also no shade. The only thing I got going for me right now is that some clouds moved in and they're blocking the sun. So I'm getting a little bit of relief from the sun for the moment and we're still waiting. We got one little nibble, but no commitment. We're gonna grind it out. I know there's fish here. They're jumping, they're becoming more active, but the problem is they're way out there in the river channel. So we're running out of light. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back, grab my stuff, bring it over here, cook up that fish, and keep these lines in the water until the very last minute. So 
That is the plan right now. Guys, I'm back. Check it out. Got everything I need right here in a nice, neat little bundle. Bam. Got all my ingredients, everything I need. I would normally would love to make a fire right now, but it's too dry and it's too dangerous. So we're gonna do make do with this right here. So just gonna scale them and gut them out. Start from the back of the tail and go forward. There we go. There is our clean fish. Ready to cook. Let's get this guy started and warmed up before we prepare our fish. It's seen better days, but we've gotten good, some good use out of this thing. There we go. On. That's on. I'm just gonna let that warm up. It's not gonna take long while we prepare our fish. We're gonna take some foil. Like so. Get our fish in there. Okay, we got some lemon pepper. Just gonna put that on everywhere. Lemon, we're gonna put in there. Put some inside. Squeeze some on. Put that in there as well. Okay. Also brought a few cloves of garlic that I'm gonna throw in there just to give it some flavor. He's inside the fish. Oh yeah. Put some on the outside. Okay. And now we wrap them up.
He's in his nice little tin foil jacket. We're gonna throw him in. Oh, yeah, right on there. Actually, we're gonna put him this side first. Okay, we're just gonna let him marinate in there. Just gonna let him have a little sauna action going on there. That's all there is to it, folks, and we're just gonna let it do its thing right there. And then we're just going to keep an eye on these poles. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Oh my gosh. Fish. Fish. Are you kidding me, guys? You're kidding me. You've seen that. That's crazy, guys. That's crazy, my camera fell. What is it? It doesn't feel very heavy. What do we got? Oh no. It's got me snagged. Are you serious? No. Come out of there. There he goes. No, he's snagged up still. Come on out of there, baby, please. There he goes, there he goes. Snagged up. Oh. Dang it, guys. I was trying to set up the cameras, and of course, I let the tension off him and he got snagged. I think he's, he's stuck on a rock. All right, guys, I think it's time to flip. Hear that? It's cooking up nicely. Oh yeah, this is it coming out. Oh, it's gonna be good. Okay, I'll put the lid back on. We'll let that side cook, and then we're gonna eat. Smelling good, it's sounding good. Let's just turn this off. Can you guys hear that? That's still cooking in there. Let's check real quick. It's hot. Look at that. Oh, that's smelling good. Steam, juices. Now, if it falls off the bone, we know it's done. You know what, guys? I forgot my fork. Oh, yeah, look at that. Try a piece of garlic. Mmm, delish. Let's try a piece of fish here. Well, that's definitely done. Ooh, I haven't had bass in a long time. That tastes really good. But I'm gonna fix it up even better. Alright guys. Got my bass here. It's going to be good after a long day. I am starving. I'm going to put a little bit more lemon pepper on it. And I saved some lemon. Check it out, guys. That's what we're working with right there. It's going to be so good. Okay. Now I'm just going to take some off the bone. Cheers. That is really good. It has more of a fish flavor 
than let's say crappie or perch. Um, but I haven't had bass in a long time and that's still good to me. It's after all these years, still tasting pretty good. Put some more lemon pepper on there. Guys, that has fallen right off the bone. Here we go. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. Next time, I'm gonna have to try some different seasoning. Lemon pepper. It's pretty good, but I don't know if this is the seasoning for this fish. Hmm. Wait, I know. What do we got here? Some warmed up tortillas, corn tortillas. Make sure to get some of this garlic in there. Try my best not to get any bones. Oh yeah, look at that. Delicious. Who doesn't love avocado? Just gonna throw some on top. Got my avocado on there. Some more lime. Oh yeah. And the last touch. Some tapatio. Oh yeah. Look at that. Whoa, that's gonna be good. Yum. Cheers. All right. I can dig that. Sorry guys. Sorry all you bass fishermen out there. I might have to start eating some more bass. That is really good. I may have overcooked it just a slightly, but that was still good. I think the star I think what really made that extra delicious was that lemon and on top of it right here this guy this guy right here that's the ticket that's what made it good that was amazing all right guys I'm going to finish my meal I got some more tortillas that I'm gonna make and that's gonna wrap it up for this episode we came out unfortunately we did not hook into a catfish but what do you expect what are you going i mean first time going out catfishing for the year and what do you expect to do knock it out of the ballpark doesn't happen like that sometimes but i still had a good day got some bites missed some landed a few smallmouth bass and we had a meal right here on the river can't beat that like i said unfortunately no catfish landed. I didn't end up hooking one, but I lost it. He got snagged up. It had to have been a catfish because I don't know what else would hit a cut bait in this river. We grinded all day, but unfortunately it didn't happen. Next time we will do it again. We will catch catfish. So if you guys like the content, give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it and it'd help you out a lot. For all you guys that are out there hitting that thumbs up, you guys rock, man. Keep it up. And with that being said, guys, remember, if you ain't fishing, you ain't living. I'll catch you on the next one.